for always supporting us thank you sir thank you so much secondly i am thankful to our coordinators committee of ayush vivodni too for the great conductions of this webinar series i am also thankful to dr minakshi nath ma'am principal of shrimati nirmala devi ayurvedic medical college and dr mrithu sharma vice principal of shrimati nirmala devi ayurvedic medical college for their valuable support and guidance uh, thank you to all of you uh, now i request our vice principal ma'am dr mrithu sharma to say some words on this webinar over to you dr mrithu thank you dr ajay good morning everyone myself dr mrithu sharma vice principal of shrimati nirmala devi ayurvedic college welcomes you all on ayush vibhodini series 2 I would like to thank our chairman, Engineer Amarjit Singh Valia, Principal Dr. Minakshi Nath for their immense support and cooperation. This series is a combined efforts of our coordinators, Dr. Deepika Minhas, Dr. Pooja Thakur, Dr. Sonika, and Dr. Jyoti Sarova, who are working really hard and managing things very well. Now, I would like to welcome our guest speaker for today, Dr. Sumedha. This is our first professional interaction, but we have known each other for more than 10 years now. Dr. Sumedha is an expert in Ayurveda. In fact, she is the one who has explained me the worth of Ayurveda and Panchkarma. We are really thankful to you for accepting our invitation, Sumedha. I'm sure your knowledge will be of great help to our delegates. Thank you. Now over to Dr. Ajay. You can continue with the session. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, now let's uh, uh, discuss about uh, about the today's topic uh, ayurveda ke siddhant uh, says that purushan lok samhita purushan lok samhita is iske anusar ye manushya is sansar ke tulya hai arthat jo bhav is jagat mein hai woh is sharir mein hai ritu parivartan ऋतु परिवर्तन के समय शरीर में भी परिवर्तन होते हैं दोष धातु मल इन सभी की स्थिति भी परिवर्तित चेंज होती रहती है अकॉर्डिंग टू ऋतु आयुर्वेद आयुर्वेद के अनुसार ऋतुचर्या प्रत्येक ऋतु के अनुसार शरीर के दोष आदि की स्थिति को ध्यान में रखते हुए किए जाने वाला आहार विहार माना गया है ऋतुचर्या ऋतुचर्या के पालन से व्यक्ति स्वस्थ एवं निरोग रहता है ऋतु संधि नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम वर्ड्स ऑफ अबाउट ऋतु संधि व्हाट इज ऋतु संधि ऋतु संधि इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ इन इन वी कैन से इन सिंपल वर्ड्स ऋतु संधि इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू ऋतु तत्र पूर्व विजि त्याज्य सेवनियो पर ही रोग है मतलब कि इनके सहसा त्याग एवं सेवन से असाथ में जन्य रोग होने की असाथ में जन्य रोग हो सकते हैं That's why uh, we should uh, follow the regimens of Ritu Sandhi. So, in view 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 of this, uh, to maintain our health as per Ritu Sandhi, we have decided today's topic: clinical aspects of Ritu Sandhi, uh, which will be elaborated by our keynote speakers. Uh, so, I am going to introduce our keynote speakers, Dr. Sumedha Karmbelkar, MP, Swastika. Dr. Sumedha has done her UG in 2010 from Goa University. She has done his, her postgraduate from Maharashtra University of Health Sciences. Now she is currently working as assistant professor in the department of Swastika in Bharatiya Sanskriti Darshan Trust, Ayurveda Mahavidyalaya, Bhagoli, Pune, since 2019. She is also an Ayurveda consultant at Athar Ayurveda and Panchkarma Center, Pune, since 
she has also delivered lectures on lifestyle management at multinational corporations like value and hiwa she has also conducted lectures and workshops on topic like biomedical waste management india's current health status on global map etc at transitional curriculum uh, dr sumeda i am quite thankful to you for giving your precious time for the sake of our college students besides your busy schedule and for accepting my invitations thank you so much ma'am let's start today's session hope it will be a very knowledgeable uh, over to dr sumeda thank you thank you sir first of all i am very much thankful to your college and your management committee engineer vaidya sir and your principal madam uh, dr minakshi na and vice principal and my very dear friend dr mrudu and to your vastavrita department prithu sandhi is very much of importance in current situation we can see i think the one who follows ruthu sandhi or ruthu charya properly is able to sail through very safely through all this uh, pandemic epidemic situation so without wasting time i will start my session or lecture I hope it's visible and I'm audible. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Okay. So our uh, today's topic is uh, clinical aspect of Rudu Rudu Sandhi. So first of all, uh, when we have a quick look over what is Rudu, what is Rudu Charya, and what is Rudu Sandhi. So uh, uh, we all must have seen this definition in Charak or the. this reference in sharak sutra sthan it says that the year the whole year is divided into six parts that is iha khalu samvatsaram sharangam ati vibhagena vidya all these six parts are uh, this division is based on difference of the weather the climate so basically divided into six seasons depending on uh, seasons so among these three seasons that is from shishira to grishma which is represent northern solstice that is uh, uttarayan and from varsha to himan that is dakshinayan so when we say rutu that what this particular word means in uh, dictionary sanskrit to uh, sanskrit to english dictionary that is monia williams that word means any settled point of time or the fixed time uh, we can say if that particular uh, rutu is there that is a fixed for fixed time then time appropriate for any action it also denotes that particular action has to be taken up in accordance with that particular season or particular time so again rutu is symbolized expression of number 6 now we have seen that uh, it is it has been divided into two ayanas that is uttarayan and dakshinayan it is also called as uttrayana also called as adana kala that is shishira vasanta grishma is a, is called as adana and disarga kala or dakshinayan its varsha sharad and hemanta so uh, looking after the bala because the bala of that particular human varies according to season we are talking about the swastha person even that person is swastha is bala variates according to the seasons so uh, we can see uh, we know this reference that adavante cha daurbalyam visarga dana yo nrunam madhye madhya balam tu ante shreshtha magre cha didanche that means uh, in the beginning that is in shishira and in hemanta the bala is at maximum level we are very much healthy we are the bala is very good at the same time at the grishma end of adana kala or grishma rutu and varsha rutu the bala is at very low level 
and the mid of adana kala and dakshina uh, visarga kala that is vasanta and sharada bala is madhyam so keeping that this in mind one should always perform all those his activities like was uh, said in rutucharya also we had seen rutucharya now this is important whenever we are explaining to patient this particular season we being ayurveda acharya we know important uh, when particular ruto starts but to, our aim is to educate that patient being a swastavrutta practitioner we must focus on educating the patient so he himself decide what is to be done in accordance to ruto he won't be able to or he won't be coming to you every in every ruto so you have to teach him or educate him about this ruto when this particular ruto starts when this ends and what has to be done what precautions or the what the charya has to be followed so to make him understand this particular uh, we must keep in mind this particular table so shishira we can roughly say is that it, it, it is for the month of january february march and vasanta that is march april may so we are in ruto sandhya already and grishma ritu that is in may june july here in maharashtra or the western side june july is not that much supposedly grishma ritu because in june or in july there is a heavy rainfall but uh, in northern in your part june and july uh, will be summer season will be still there in varsha ritu for varsha ritu july august september uh, is there and for sharad ritu september october november and hemant or the winter uh, is november december january now again chaya prakopa prashama we had known this shloka from ashtanga vidya so chaya vata chaya takes place in grishma ritu pitta chaya takes place in varsha ritu and kapha chaya takes place in hemant ritu and aggravation that is prakop which is a uh, natural which is not pathological we can say so in varsha ritu vata prakop is there and in uh, sharad ritu pitta prakop is there and in vasant ritu kapha prakop is there that's why in uh, prakop avastha we perform shodhana for swastha person that is uh, for example vasantik vaman is going on in our college it might be going on in your college also so um, and naturally elevation that is prashaman occurs at for vata sharad ritu prashaman occurs uh, in sharad ritu prashaman occurs in hemant ritu pritta prashaman occurs and in grishma ritu kapha prashaman occurs so this one is a famous quote from hippocrates we all had taken his oath by joining this medical college so he says that whoever wishes to investigate medicine we should first place uh, consider the season of the year and what effect of each of them produces so, so he has also approved or agreed that season produces very great effect on our body uh, we will see in next slides also there are research paper which states that it uh, creates effects on genetic level also now let's come to this ruttu sandhi so ruttu sandhi sandhi means joining so ruttu a uh, time period which precipitates at the junction of two seasons basically and why this is important because it is very much important main, maintaining homeostasis that is one must able uh, to say through all ruttu sandhi and should be able to uh, uh, maintain his health without pain falling in uh now historical review if we can see where we can find references of ruttu sandhi it has been mentioned in vedic literature also in kaushitaki brahmana and gopatha brahmana it has been said in chaturmas here it maharashtra it has been followed chaturmas at very large level so chaturmas sacrifices are mentioned as curative measures and hence they are performed in ruttu sandhi and ruttu sandhi is the transition from one to another so uh, which causes illness if the proper ruttu charya or ruttu sandhi charya is not followed 
so there has been a concept of ritu ritu mukha this word has been used ritu mukha that ritu is double faced or it has two faces or two sides like the uh, at the end of particular ritu it has one other face and the other face is on the beginning of the next ritu and similarly varsha sharat sandhi has been explained as whenever one hears the shouts of peacocks mingled with notes of swans then and a blue lotus is bloom then that is the time period uh, supposedly of uh, varad uh, varsha and sharad ritu san Yeah, it has its influence from the time of conception until death. So, right from birth, it affects the human being. Rutus, different rutus. So, to maintain the proper health and to tolerate kalaj disorders or the vyadi, it is essential to follow rutu, ah, uh, rutu sathmya or the rutu charya. Rutu sathmya is the reg. Is told for the specific ruto for the specific duration, and the ruto sandhi is not exception for this purpose also. Uh, now, tasya shitiya adhyaya in charak uh, sutra san. It has been uh, swastha chatushka has been explained. That is the main topic for swastha vritta. So, the strength and the luster of human being who knows the suitable diet and regime for every season and practices accordingly are enhanced. Regime and diets having opposite qualities of the hab uh, habitat of the individuals and the disease they are suffering from, but habituated things it to be given up, then it it is to be done slowly and gradually. Otherwise, it may lead to a sad major trauma. One who doesn't follows rutu charya or rutu sandhi charya, he falls for the a sad major roga or kala major roga. Therefore, rutu sandhi The regimen of the preceding season should be discontinued gradually, and that of the succeeding season should be adopted gradually. That particular krama has been explained, especially in Hindu Tika on Ashtang Rudra. That is so to avoid disease during Rutu. It is advised to follow Rutu Sandhi strictly by following the method of homologation with due regard to concern Rutu Desha. and abhyas satya now if we have to look just to have a quick glance over what uh, the specific diseases we can see so in pravrut we can see vata sambandhit vyadhi in sharad ritu pitta sambandhit vyadhi in vasant ritu shleshma sambandhit vyadhi whereas in hemanta it has been explained that vatika arshas can be seen in sharada paitika arshas can be seen grishma shleshmika arshas and rakta jo vyadhi in sharad ritu udarda in uh, winter seasons especially shishira hemanta visarpa chardi uh, is mostly seen in sharad ritu also and pratisha in cold winter season This ritu sandhi occurs between two seasons of adana kala, since shishira and vasanta fall in adana kala. So, in this ritu sandhi, one can learn to adapt a coming ritu, that is vasanta, by letting go the practice of current season, that is shishira ritu. So, it has to be followed gradually, not suddenly. Similarly, if you can see in Pongita, there is no direct reference of mentioning Ritu Sandhi in Charaka and Sushruta Sahita, but in Bhagavad, it clearly states Ritu Sandhi for the first time in Ritu Charya chapter. Charangara also mentioned the concept to limit the period of 15 days of Kartika uh, month and Marga Shirsha month, and he has stated it as a Yama Dhanusha, that is one. Uh, uh, gum or the of that yama so one gets stuck in that uh, it, so if he falls if a, one person falls ill in during this season this particular time period kartik and marga shirsha month so it is for very difficult for him to uh, get rid of that particular so 
कमेंटेटर्स ऑफ चरण लाइक चक्रपाणी गंगाधर पॉलड अष्टांग हृदय ना ऋतु संधि डेफिनेशन अष्टांग हृदय तत्र पूर्व विधि त्याज सेवनीय अपर क्रम क्रम अभ्यास दट मीन one must part if we can divide that ruttu particular ruttu charya in four parts then uh, for in the beginning one part should be tyajya it should be left out and uh, one part of the next ruttu should be adopted on the next day two parts of the previous ruttu charya should be left out and the two parts of the next ruttu should be adopted similarly uh, kramena क्रमात पादेन अभ्यास है दैट मीन्स सिमिलरली ऋतु संधिचर्या शुड बी फॉलो ऋतु संधि इज अ टाइम पीरियड ऑफ फोर्टीन डेज विच कनेक्ट्स द एंड ऑफ टू डिफरेंट सीजन इन ऋतु संधि वन शुड ग्रेजुअली स्टार्ट रिजेक्टिंग द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ प्रीवियस ऋतु इंक्लूडिंग द प्रैक्टिस रिलेटेड टू डायटिक प्रैक्टिस ऑल्सो लाइफ स्टाइल ऑल्सो एंड बिहेवियर ऑल्सो एट द सेम टाइम he or she should gra- uh, should gradually start practices of the upcoming season again including a uh, lifestyle diet and behavior practices as per the ne- that particular season so this practice should be adopted in a step ladder pattern so this is very much important it has to be followed um, gradually this is again reference from charak sutra sta now benefits of it knowledge of ruttu sandhi helps us in adapting to different ritus it teaches us the way of letting go habits of the previous season because it is very much difficult we cannot just suddenly leave the habits of previous ritu uh, for which we have been accustomed for last 3 months and again suddenly adopting the uh, habits of next 3 months so it has to be done in a gradual manner we have to uh, uh, teach or educate the patient it, that it has, it has to be done in gradual manner now this knowledge helps to quickly accommodate and adjust to the upcoming season helps to prevent and treat many seasonal disorders helps to adopt preventive measures towards taking precautions with respect to impending disease which might occur in the next season so why this has to be done because totally season changes so to avoid that ruto specific diseases one must adopt uh, gradually so it has to be performed in gradual way because letting go anything suddenly is not easy because if we do it something uh, do that for well, let go that particular thing suddenly then body doesn't tolerate when a regular practice uh, when we are in that practice and all of a sudden this change happen so again uh, this is of clinical importance shodhana in ritu sandhi it is Uh, because we know by in vasanta ritu vaman we give so we advise in sharad ritu virachan we advise or rakta moksha we advise in varsha ritu niruha we advise but uh, the question arises it is uh, good if we can give i mean it is advisable to give shodhan in ritu sandhis according to me or according to uh, text which have mentioned uh, शोधन पर्टिकुलर शोधन शुडन बी गिवन इन ऋतु संधि काल दैट इज फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर फिफ्टीन डेज और दैट पर्टिकुलर टू वीक्स शोधन शुड बी अवॉइडेड बिकॉज वी आर पेशेंट और दैट ह्यूमन बींग इज नॉट टोटली एडजस्टेड टू दैट न्यू ऋतु इट सेल्फ एंड वी आर डूइंग समथिंग रियली ऑन बिग स्केल दैट इज शोधन इज अग प्रोसीजर 
so in rutu sandhi so then the kriya should be or the panchakarma should be avoided uh we must leave that particular one week or two week time period and then we can give uh, this shodhana now when we make aware our patients regarding when uh, rutu and its time period we must also make patients aware regarding rutu sandhi kala also the roughly so roughly it has been mentioned so we can see total six rutu sandhis in a year since we are facing six seasons so there will be six rutu sandhis so shishira vasanta rutu sandhi one can uh, experience in march month of march so we can say at the end of the first week of march around the, uh, about uh, march 8 or march 9 to the beginning of the last week of march so 22nd or 23rd of march so this particular time period we can say uh, shishira vasanta rutu sandhi similarly vasanta and grishma rutu sandhi end of first week of may and beginning of the last week of may that is around 9th of may till 23rd of may grishma and varsha rutu sandhi end of first week of july and last till the last week of july that is 9th of july to 23rd of july then varsha and sharada we can experience this rutu sandhi in september 9th of september till 22nd 23rd september sharada hemanta rutu sandhi in month of november that is 9th of november till 23rd of november and last hemanta shishira that is month of january so uh, in current scenario what is what are the benefits of following rutu charya in rutu sandhi kala or rutu sandhi charya particularly so we can see it's a cycle because of following this rutu charya there is uh, by gaining we do gain good control on lifestyle then uh, which is which leads to improved immunity also and basically it is least costly so we don't have to buy and purchase uh, any particular medicines or multi vitamins or anything just we have to make certain changes in our, our lifestyle in our daily routine so it is least costly all these factors will uh, after contribute to uh, control what we are experiencing if we follow all these then we can get a good control on endemic uh, automatically if we, can, if we can get control on endemic this won't lead to epidemic and this won't, again it won't lead to pandemic so overall it is very much useful and at the same time it is least costly so now the last part comes that is uh, i've collected or the gathered some information on the research articles various research performed on rutu sandhi particularly or rutu we can see here one uh, review article has been mentioned that is critical review on ritu with special reference to current research so in this particular article uh, considering current research scenario uh, in accordance to with the ritu or the ritu charya has been mentioned next uh, research has uh, was done by uh, you can see the author's name in uh, written in red color the title of this research was study of seasonal behavior in esr so they had looked after if the esr changes according to season also so here you can see uh, so in cold and warm season you can see there is a there was a bigger fluctuation in esr during cold season as compared to warm season so clearly it states your uh, change in your hemodynamic change in es or uh, in human body then again uh, one more research paper has been published in january 2022 that is day and night 
and seasonal variation of human gene expression across tissues. So uh, basically, that this was a biotechnology research paper. So uh, they had found out that there are uh, various changes in genetic expression across the tissues. So definitely, uh, they had, uh, for sample, they had taken uh, healthy individuals. So they had seen there were seasonal variations also. So if we want to uh, make this genetic expression in a good way, or it shouldn't disturb your immunity, then Rutucharya has to be followed. Then one more uh, research paper is there. Seasonal variation in human gut microbiome composition also. So according to season, the gut microbes also composition also changes. Now, seasonal variation in metabolism, evidence for the role of circannual rhythms in metabolism also. So uh, metabolism also changes according to the season. Uh, when we say this, we already know that uh, Agni Mandya is there in uh, whenever the bala is less. So this also we are, we are seen in Sahin. So thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, uh, thank you, Dr. Sumita. Uh, I I don't know what about students and other delegates, but I have gained some more and extra knowledge uh, from your sessions uh, beyond the books. Thank you. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you, ma'am. It is a very uh, wonderful uh, session. Uh, you have elaborated your topics very well. Uh, hope that today's session uh, was wonderful all uh, for all. Uh, anybody have any queries? Uh, he can ask. He or she can ask uh, from Dr. Sumedha. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sumita. Uh, no, my, no, no, I am going to shut down the uh, today's sessions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving me this course.